Welcome to the program once again. This is Weekend Art One. Now over to Nakuru Divers at Lake Nakuru. Still waiting for a special chopper that will help re retrieve the wreckage of a chopper that crashed in the lake last month, killing five people aboard. Now reporter Victor Ogale joins us for the latest on this mission. Now, Victor, good afternoon. Any hope of retrieving any crashed, I mean, uh, the crashed chopper today? Well, uh, Ibrahim, uh, two choppers have already landed here. Mm. They've touched base here at uh, Lake Nakuru, one from the Kenya Police Air Wing and one from the military, that is the Kenya Defense Force. And uh, what uh, we understand, they are going to use some sort of a winch to try and pull the debris of the ill-fated chopper that uh, plunged into Lake Nakuru on the 21st of October. That is over a month as at now. And uh, uh, that having uh, happened here, or rather the chopper having landed here, they are now doing some sort of a small briefing just to ensure that um, the expertise that they are going to put in place, that um, the debris comes out in hold. Because remember, there seems to be a lot of interest, perhaps from the insurance company, from the manufacturer of that particular plane, and also from uh, the family members. Remember, there are also two bodies that are yet to be found. And uh, there is hope that uh, the bodies could still be trapped inside uh, that ill-fated chopper because as at now uh, what uh, we are gathering from the divers who kept going inside and coming out is that uh, uh, the chopper has a lot of uh, residue inside has a lot of uh, 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 sand uh, inside even their, their visibility is somehow incap incapacitated so they don't want anything uh, to be taken to chance they want to lift it in whole as it is and uh, Ibrahim, I think this is something that seems to be very peculiar to many that are here, even to us. I think this is something that has never happened or it is yet to happen uh, within our borders because people are used to uh, uh, vehicles just having accidents perhaps and uh, plunging into water bodies, be it uh, streams and rivers. Uh, under bridges but perhaps uh, looking at the magnitude of this particular tragedy this is a helicopter this is a, a, a an aeroplane that had plunged into the lake and it has taken over 29 days for it to be recovered because it was recovered on the 28th day basically that is more that is a month uh, practically if you look at it but now uh, lifting it it means this is something given the, the personnel that um, uh, are here and the, the, whatever they are going to use the manpower uh, uh, the equipment that they are going to use it is something that perhaps uh, is more of a learning ground even to them and even to those that are here and uh, there is much anticipation here the family members are uh, the people who manage to gain access and come to this particular point even you've had uh, uh, people who have come for game drive here uh, inside the lake but uh, since they had whatever is happening they've just decided to come here and just have a glimpse of what is happening because I mean um, tree choppers pulling the debris or uh, out of the water uh, it, it is something that seems to be very amazing Ibrahim thank you very much Ogale for that